Hello, welcome back to this year's new KCAT News with our brand new backdrop we completed this summer. This week on KCAT, we have a new segment called Dropping Dimes, Interviews on Gabe's Game Recap, Wildcat Weather, and Getting to Know the New Staff Members and a Recap of the Dance. I'm Kayla Perkins. And I'm Emma Seville. And, and KCAT, KCAT News starts, starts right, right now. now. Caleb is going to start us off with the details about the dance last Friday night. Yeah, there was about 250 students that attended the dance. And uh, let's see what other details I got. The back-to-school dance was last Friday night after the green and white scrimmage. It was hosted by student council, and one of the DJs this year was a former student of Mulvane High School, Tim Burgos. I caught up with some of the attendees from last Friday night and see what they thought of the dance. You know, my boyfriend was really awkward. Um... I got to show everyone my cool moves. It was lit. The water was really good and the cookies tasted phenomenal. I, I chugged it and then my teeth got really cold. Got a headache, some brain freeze. That was pretty great. DJs were pretty good. They played some good songs. As you can see, the dance last Friday night is one for the books. The next dance will be September 28th to celebrate fall homecoming. That's all for me, Kayla Perkins, KCAT News. Now we're going to throw it over to reporter Sean Neptune who talked to the new staff members at MHS. This year MHS welcomed 10 new faces along with one familiar face moving into a new position. My name is Ben Reese and I was teaching at Humboldt in Humboldt, Kansas, Humboldt High School. Uh, I'm teaching the woodworking classes now. Uh, I did not teach that at Humboldt. I taught all carpentry and construction there. We built a house. Uh, but at Belle Plaine, I taught for nine years and taught all the woodworking then. Um, I am Mrs. Logan, and this is my first year teaching. I am teaching freshman English, junior English, and I also have an honors freshman English. My name is Chris Roderick. I've previously worked one year at Derby. I've worked 15 years at Belle Plaine and then one year at Clearwater, and I'm starting my first year here at Mulvane High School. I'm teaching now physical science, chemistry, and physics, and I have taught all three of those classes in previous schools. My name is Laura Jelinek, and I was at East High School in Wichita for 15 years and I was at Derby and All Saints Catholic School three years before that. I'm teaching pre-algebra, Algebra 1, and pre-calc. I've taught Algebra 1 my last 16 years teaching, pre-algebra a couple years, but I've never taught pre-calc before, only college algebra. My name is Mrs. Peterson, and I work at, worked previously at Wellington. I teach, I co-teach in Algebra 2 with Mr. Hegeman and also in Physical Science with Mr. Roderick. And then I also teach my own classes, which are um, math classes. Uh, Sean Ritterhouse. I worked for six years at Cape and Mount Carmel. I'm teaching chemistry and earth-based science. I taught chemistry for six years at Cape and, but earth-based science is new. Uh, my name is Samantha Jessup. Last year I was at El Dorado High School. I am now teaching Honors English 2, English 2, English 1. And I did teach English 1 last year. Um, I taught Honors English 2 at North Student Teaching a few years ago. And this will be the first time I have English 2. Yeah, hi. Um, my name's Mrs. Schwanke. And I worked at an online high school um, called Insight School of Kansas. It's based out of Olathe in the Spring Hill District. Um, I'm teaching psychology, um, co-ed activities, and girls strength and conditioning. And this is my first year in any of the PE classes, but um, I've taught psychology for about five years now. Um, I am Taylor Hageman, and this is actually my first year teaching. I teach Algebra 2, Tier Algebra 2, and Geometry. My name is Mr. Fanewald, AKA Coach Fan, and I have been the previous head football coach here for the last 26 years. I am now the assistant principal, a job that I am thrilled to death to have. And before, as well as being the head football coach, I was also the psychology teacher, the weightlifting instructor, as well as the head boys golf coach. Yes, my name is Mrs. Cowell, and that previously I worked at Campus High School in Hayesville. Well, my position now is head principal. My previous position for 12 years was assistant principal and activities director. Yes, I graduated at Mulvane High School, 1990. Go Wildcats! Um, high school, I went to a small town in Oklahoma called Mantford. I graduated in 2002. 
I graduated from Northwest High School in Wichita in 2000. Um, I graduated from MHS in 2002. I graduated from Mulvane High School in 1994 and then... Fact about me that nobody knows, one of my favorite TV shows is Little House on the Prairie. Fact about me that no one would know is that I, ha I can ride a unicycle and juggle. Um, well, my, my students already know that I am a fire entertainer part-time. However, um, I would say most of the school probably doesn't know that about me yet. I, know this. I like to play piano and I studied for a semester in England. I'm co-sponsor of KAY Club, and I'm also co-sponsor for Scholars Bowl. I'm not coaching or sponsoring anything this year, but I'm hoping maybe we can start a robotics program. I will be the assistant debate coach this year, forensics and debate. Uh, yes, I'm doing freshman volleyball right now. In the winter, I'll do freshman basketball, and then in the spring, I'll do JV softball. I am currently an assistant coach for the high school football team, and then I will be the C team coach for boys basketball. This year, I'll be co-sponsoring Scholars Bowl. Um, My goal as assistant principal is to make this a place that not just the students want to be, but the teachers want to be. I want to make this place a place that everybody wants to be at every day, and they leave with a smile on their face. My goals, well, you guys have all heard about this, is for it to be a safe place where every student is valuable and feels like they are treated respectfully and that teachers listen to them. My other goal there is that we get you ready for your future so that you can have the life that you want and that you can overcome and do challenging things that are going to be in your future and great things. Now that you've gotten to know a little more about these new staff members, go and make them feel welcomed here at MHS. Sean Neptune, KCAT. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb. Despite the 0-17 record last year, the Varsity Boys soccer team opened up their season with a 6-0 win against the El Dorado Wildcats. Sophomore Nate Kasubi had two goals, with foreign exchange student Zeb Hussein from Somaliland, freshman Kelton Boster, freshman Larry Knup, and junior Cordell Church each contributing a goal in the win. The JV team fell 0-1, but the game was canceled early due to nearby lightning. Overall, Myers is excited for the season. I think it's going to go really well. Um, the guys that are coming back, they're working hard. Uh, we're asking them to take a few different roles uh, in some of the areas, but everybody's working really well together. Myers has a few goals set for this season. Well, I'd like to definitely win the, win the shots on goal battle every game. That's one of the things that we've really been focusing on as we... Uh, been started the season, kind of changed our formation up a little bit to incorporate some of the talent and how that fits best with us. Um, I'd also like to win two playoff games. So that's something I don't think we've ever done as far as the program goes. Cross Country has their first meet today, and Landis has the goal of improvement. Well, obviously our goal is to improve as the season goes on, but we've got a great bunch of runners, and we think we'll see that improvement take place. Landis also believes that there is great leadership among seniors Ryan Roderick, Tyler Fox, and Sally Brownlee. Um, I really like Ryan Roderick's leadership. He's done a great job with the group. Um, but also we have other seniors. You know, Tyler Fox has done a good job with his leadership role. John Thorson has done a good job with his leadership role. And on the girls' side, I really like what Sally Brownlee has done. She's really taken a couple of those girls under her wing and really helped them out. So, yes, we do have some great leaders. State is also another goal for Landis and his runners this year. It is a few months away, but again, as we work harder, as we get closer to that date, I'm hoping that uh, potentially we can make our way to state. The varsity volleyball team started their season off in a tournament in Winfield. The Cats won against Winfield in El Dorado, but they ended up falling to Bueller, Chanute, and Wichita Trinity Academy. Then on August 28th, both volleyball teams traveled to Wellington. The varsity ended up winning the first set then fell in the second, then they rallied back to win 2-1. to one. Then they fell to Clearwater, zero sets to two. The JV team also fell to Clearwater, two to zero. Then they also fell to Wellington, two sets to one. Cole Meyer does believe the season will be better, and he also has a goal of doing better in the third set. Uh, we, we've set goals. You know, we sat down as a team and set some goals for this year. And so far, you know, we're doing a very good job of you know, keeping up with those goals. Um, they've set the bar high, and, you know, we, we're going to continue to push the envelope. You know, last year we, we failed to win the third set. Um, I think nine times we took a team into the third set, 
and we didn't come out on top this year. You know, we've done it three times, and so far we're two and one. So they're they're reaching their, their goals. This year, the varsity football team has a new head coach as Mr. Myers stepped up from the offensive coordinator. Myers has already set a few goals for this season. Um, our goals uh, are currently like they always are. You know, we want to win Division Four, and that starts Friday night against Andale. That's a, a league game that we have to be uh, ready to compete in and go. Uh, we also look as a team that we always want to beat Rose Hill every time we play them, and we always are wanting to beat Wellington. You know, Wellington is kind of more of a, of a rival that's maybe not as prevalent as the Rose Hill rival, but it's still a big deal um, when we play Wellington. This year's team captains as of right now are Jarrett Plummer and Drew Ellis. Um, our key leaders for this year, uh, right now our captains are uh, Jarrett Plummer and Drew Ellis. Um, but however, all of our seniors are leaders for us in one capacity or another. Um, you know, we're going to have weekly captains named. So, you know, those seniors, you know, that, that aren't currently a captain right now could be a captain for four, five, six weeks in a row. Uh, again, just kind of depends on how they continue in practice to be those, those leaders and those um, seniors that we need to have a successful season. Tomorrow night, the Cats kick off their season against the Andale Indians at 7 p.m. GGR's very own Chayton Fawnenstu will be taking a look at the weather. Hey, Chayton. Hey, 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 Chayton. Hey, Chayton. Hey, Chayton. Hey, Chayton. Hey, 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 Chayton. Hey, 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 Chayton. Hey, Chayton, what's the weather for Thursday? Thursday, September 30th, we will have a high of 90 degrees with partly sunny skies and wind coming out of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Hey, Chayton, what's the weather looking like for this Friday night's football game? On Friday, September 31st, we are going to have a high of 95 degrees with, for the most part, sunny skies with wind coming out of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Hey, Chayton, what's the weather for next Monday? Monday, October 3rd, we will have mostly sunny skies with a high of 90 degrees with wind coming out of the south ranging from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Hey, Chayton. Hey, 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 Chayton. Hey, Chayton. Hey, 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 Chayton. Hey, 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 Chayton. Hey, 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 Chayton. Thanks, Chayton. That's it for this week's edition of Gabe's Game Recap. Gabe Daniel, KCAT News. <laughs> We're going to introduce a new segment here on KCAT this year. Reporters Trey Abasolo and Andrew Burgos are dropping dimes in the halls as they are paying students for correct answers on a variety of questions. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Andrew Burgos. And I'm Trey Abasolo. We'll be introducing a new segment called Dropping Dimes. Where you answer the question and we drop the dime. Drop, 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 drip, drip, drop. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes, dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Dropping dimes everywhere, like I just don't care. All right, we're going to ask you some questions. You're going to answer them as truthfully as you can. Can you please tell me who this person right here is? It's our principal. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Miss Cowell. Holy cow, we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. You win one dime. Do you know who this person is? runs our school. She's our principal and you don't even know her name. No. Nope. Uh, her name is Miss Cow. All right. Are you ready to win some money today? Sure. All right. Can you tell me who this person is right here? Miss Cowell. Miss Miss what? Right. Miss Cowell? Miss Cowell. Cowell. Yes. Try one more time. I'm good. You're really close. Come on. <laughs> Beige. Miss Cowell. That's all I know. Miss Cowell. It's close enough. And for that, you've won a dime. I know more than Taylor. I'm fine. You found another contestant today. What's your name? Chloe. All right, Chloe. For some money, can you tell me who this person is right here? Uh, that's the principal. What's her name? Miss Cowell. Congratulations, you have won a whopping 10 cents. Do you know who this is? That's my second hour journalist teacher, Mr. Absolute. Drop his arm, drop his arm. Do you know who this man is? Yup, yeah, that's Mr. Absolute. Drop his arm, drop his arm. He has a son and a daughter in the school. What is his son's name? What's his daughter's name? Oh, no. Callie, it's close. Starts with an L. I don't know. X. 
Lexi. Her name's Lexi. Okay, you won 10 cents. Do you know who this guy is? He's the vice president. Vice president? <laughs> vice principal. I don't know his name. He is not the vice principal. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't trust him for the vice principal. <laughs> I don't know. He's, he's a, he's a KCAT oh, director. Uh, Mr. Absolo. Yep. Ab Absolo. <laughs> Mr. Absolo. 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 Okay. He, for another 10 cents, I'll give you another 10 cents. If you can tell me what his son's name is. I don't know his son. You don't know what his son's I name is? Son. Uh, you didn't know he had a son? He's a sophomore. Yeah, I'm his son. <laughs> Do you know who this guy is? Drop it down, drop it down. Okay, that's 10 cents. If another 10 cents, what's his son's name? Aiden. Okay, that's one of them, but he's not in this building. What th what's his son's name in this building? Drop it down, drop it down. You have won 20 cents today, sir. Do you think you can win 30? I don't know. <laughs> can you tell me who this man is? Oh, no. Not at all? No. Give me a hint. He's an English teacher. I don't know. Come on, you got this. I believe in you. I don't. I'm sorry. All right, his name is Mr. Kruger. Okay. Well, he has won 20 cents today. This great teacher is right here? Uh, no. You have no idea? No, I have no idea. He teaches English? He's in the English hallway? Does that help at all? No. Come on, man. You gotta be better with names. I, I don't know it. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright, well that's Mr. Kruger. And you only won 10 cents today, but that's better than some of the other people today. Thanks for playing. A whopping 30 cents today. Can you tell me who this lovely man is? No. Without a doubt? No. I'll give you a hint. He's in the English hall. I don't know who it is. Like, at all? No. <laughs> His name is Mr. Kruger, and he teaches English. <laughs> I only know Mrs. Logan for English. <laughs> you learn something new every day, don't you? Thanks for playing. Uh, this lady is on fire today. And for the final question, can you tell me who this man right here is? The janitor? The janitor, no. <laughs> He is actually an English teacher here. Oops. Oops. You have no idea. No. His name is actually Mr. Kruger. Oh, oops. I'm so telling Kruger. Congratulations, you've won 30 cents today. 30 cents, we're all Yes, done. I won 30 cents, guys. Well, Burgos, some people actually do know this stuff in this school. Or they don't. This concludes this week's episode of Drop and Die. Drop, drop, drip, drip, drop. Dropping down, dropping down, dropping down, dropping down. Dropping down everywhere, like I just don't care. That was a good way to end this week's episode. Join us tonight at the bonfire. Don't be late. The game started at 8 at the football field. Also, join us on Friday for the first home football game of the season against Andel at 7. Have a great four-day weekend, and we'll be back next week.